Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about Invasive Ductal Carcinoma on Ultrasound. Invasive Ductal Carcinoma is the most common type of breast cancer. On ultrasound, it is often created as BIRADS4 or 5. BIRADS4 category is called Suspicious Abnormality. Findings are suspicious for malignancy but they do not have the classic features of cancer. The likelihood of malignancy is greater than 2% but less than 95%. BIRADS4 is further subdivided as 4A, 4B and 4C. 4A is low suspicion. Likelihood of malignancy is more than 2% and less than or equal to 10%. 4B is moderate suspicion, likelihood is greater than 10 and less than or equal to 50%. And 4C is high suspicion, the likelihood of malignancy is more than 50% but less than 95%. BIRADS 5 category is highly suspicious for malignancy. Findings have a very high probability of malignancy with the likelihood of cancer being more than or equal to 95%. We will compare the normal image of the breast on ultrasound with a suspicious breast mass which was later confirmed to be invasive ductal carcinoma on biopsy. This is a normal breast image in longitudinal plane. The upper layer, the hyperechoic layer, is the skin. The second layer, this hypoechoic layer, is the subcutaneous fat. And below this fat layer is the mammary zone, which contains the fibroglandular tissue. It is predominantly hyperechoic. This fibrillar layer consists of chest muscles. And behind the muscles, are the ribs and the rib shadows. The retro mammary zone is between the mammary zone and the chest muscles. Most of the breast pathology occurs in the mammary zone. In the image on the right, a suspicious mass is seen. It is present in the mammary zone. The mass is hypoechoic and heterogeneous in echotexture. It has an irregular or spiculated shape and it has a taller than wide orientation which means the vertical measurement, the vertical dimension is greater than the horizontal dimension. All these features strongly indicate carcinoma. The heterogeneous echo texture is due to necrosis or fibrosis which occurs within the mass. You may also find posterior acoustic shadowing. It is not seen in every case but it is more common in early stages such as grade 1 due to desmoplastic reaction which is the formation of dense fibrous tissue within the mass. Due to increased density of the mass, we will find posterior acoustic shadowing. Overall, all the features are suspicious for malignancy, so the BIRAD score will be 5. Biopsy is strongly recommended. Most of these type of masses have a score of BIRADS 5. This is another case of invasive ductal carcinoma. We can see an irregularly shaped hypoechoic and heterogeneous mass with some amount of posterior acoustic shadowing. A taller than wide orientation can still be seen. It indicates that the mass is infiltrating through the breast layers, through the ducts. This carcinoma originates from the breast ducts. The BIRADS category is 5. 
Biopsy is strongly recommended. This is another example of invasive ductal carcinoma seen on ultrasound. The mass has spiculated irregular margins and it is hypoechoic and heterogeneous, but it does not have a taller than white orientation and there is no posterior acoustic shadowing. Also, there are no microcalcifications. Microcalcifications are also a sign of malignancy, which we will see later. The BIRAT score in this case is 4C, which is pretty much close to BIRATS 5. Biopsy is recommended. In this image, you can see an irregularly shaped mass infiltrating the ducts. The mass has an irregular tubular shape. It is hypoechoic and heterogeneous in echo texture. BIRATS 5 was the category given to this mass. Biopsy is strongly recommended due to its infiltrating appearance. This is another case showing invasive ductal carcinoma. An irregularly shaped infiltrating mass is present. It is mainly hypoechoic in echo texture and has a taller than wide orientation. Some breast masses may have a hyperechoic halo. You can see bright hyperechoic borders. These borders may be present in some masses. Also, there is posterior acoustic enhancement. This is the enhancement. It may be due to necrosis, cystic degeneration, or edema, which are fluid like in nature. It is also a BIRADS 5 lesion. Biopsy is strongly recommended. On color Doppler, invasive ductal carcinoma will show increased vascularity within the mass. It is a feature that strongly indicates malignancy. On color Doppler, you will find increased color Doppler signals within the mass indicating increased vascularity. The increased vascularity can also be seen around the mass in some cases. The mass also has irregular margins, posterior acoustic shadowing, and a taller than wide infiltrating appearance. This is another image showing increased vascularity within the mass on color Doppler. Along with increased vascularity, the mass is hypoechoic, has an irregular shape, and a taller than white orientation. It is also classified as BIRADS 5. Presence of microcalcifications within a hypoechoic, heterogeneous, irregularly shaped mass is a strong sign of malignancy. The microcalcifications appear as bright dots, hyperechoic dots within the mass. These are the microcalcifications. This is another image showing an irregularly shaped hypoechoic mass infiltrating the ducts. The mass has a tubular shape. It also has a taller than wide orientation. This mass was confirmed to be invasive ductal carcinoma. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.